Hi, welcome to another Unity Mobile from Scratch tutorial. This tutorial follows from the previous tutorial in which we started drawing a line on the screen using either the mouse or a touch of the finger on a mobile device. What I'm going to just show you now is how to extend that so you can have multiple lines instead of just one line. So what I've done is created a swipe prefab from the prefab we had before, or I should say the game object we had before, and it's just got a trail renderer on it, and it's also set the time to infinity, and it has very small start width and end width, and it's got the same shader that I had before, and uh, this time I haven't set any colors, but feel free to do that. So this is a prefab that we will instantiate um, over and over again as we draw each line. Now the object doing all of the work is called a swipe manager. So this is an empty game object that I've added into the hierarchy and on it I've added the swipe trail code that we started writing in the previous tutorial. But this time you can see that it has an exposed variable for trail prefab and that's where that swipe, this one down here, gets put when you're ready to go. And now when I just play this, I'll show you that I can draw multiple lines on the screen and they're not connected anymore. Right, so the code, what does that look like? I'll just go through that for you. There's a few changes. It's much longer than the previous one because it also is going to detect if you just click down on the drawing surface and then lift up your finger or lift up the mouse without actually drawing anything. Uh, because if you just create a new instance of that swipe object every time you press the screen, then you'll get a whole bunch of empty game objects that you don't really need. Right, so at the top we've got the public trail prefab. That's where we're passing through the prefab. And then we have this, this trail game object, and that's the instance that we'll create of the current line that's being drawn. Then we're going to keep a track of the start position of where we've clicked or touched. And also we're making the plane that we were drawing on before a global object so we can access it at a few places. So to begin with, in the start function, we set this plane up. And this is assuming that plane that we're going to draw on is never moving. And it's the same as before. So it's a flat plane. It's at the position of the particular object, which is our swipe manager. And it's facing the camera. So it's parallel to the camera's near and far planes, but facing the camera. Now the update function looks like this. First of all, there is a touch phase began, which we didn't have before. And this is when we first touch the screen or click the mouse button down. That's when the instance of our line or our trail will be created. And you can see that here. What I do then is to do our little ray cast for our mouse to see where it hits that plane that we're drawing on to get the drawing position. And I record that in this start pause variable. Now why I do that is because when the finger is lifted up or the mouse is lifted up, I then test the distance between where we started drawing and the final position of the drawing, which will be this here. And if it's really, really small, it means that we've hardly moved our finger or our mouse. And therefore, let's just destroy that object because it's really not aligned. Now the other part is the same as the previous lot of code in the last tutorial. It's just finding the point on that plane that we're drawing on uh, of the mouse position or the first finger touch and then moving the trail that you're currently working with to that position. Right, so if we just go back, you'll see this in action when I press play. When I put the mouse down, just watch over in the hierarchy, you'll see that we get a swipe object appear. Now if I don't move the mouse and release my finger, it will delete that or destroy it so it's no longer um, in the hierarchy. But we can draw a line like this, lift the mouse, click, it'll create it but then delete it straight away and I can draw another line there 
and another line there. So that's really just a really quick overview of how you would convert the previous tutorial which had just one line and trail renderer into something that has multiple lines so that you can actually lift up the mouse and draw something completely separate from the previous line.